Welcome back to Rob's Class, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys on a trip with me. Now, right now, as we speak, I'm already a couple days ahead, so I'll bring you guys back in time to so when I first started the trip. Before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. Today's video is gonna be more like a vlog type deal. I'm going on a vacation. I got invited to go out, so I was like, sure. So I got my entire life in the truck, but I'm gonna be here for the next two hours, and then it's a two hour drive, and then we'll get to Disney. So that's the start of it. I don't know how much of this I'll actually record. Now we're headed up to Orlando. Two hours, 30 minutes later, we're here. And this is what the room is looking like now. There are parts of this where I'm going to have to voice over just because of the audio, but this is the room at the Riviera we stayed at. We're about to head out to the first dinner, you feel me? Gangs, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do some disgusting fat stuff. I'm gonna eat big. I don't know who I think I am, but of course, as you guys know, I hit a lift right there. And then we went to the aquarium at Epcot. Now, I didn't record as much of the resort as I had liked to. You know, I was with family, so it didn't make sense to me to bring my camera around. Although I kind of wish I had, but these manatees were absolutely ginormous. I love, love, love manatees. They were, we just happened to come up on them as they're being fed. And the manatees looked so chunky. I mean, <laughs> look at the size of that manatee right there. And, you know, this one, it was kind of tragic. If you look at its tail, it looked like it got completely butchered by a boat. It had obviously been in a boating accident. And I think this one was a rescue. I think the statistic is, you know, like 90% or something of the manatees in the water are going to be in a boat accident. But they also had some really nice reef tanks in the aquarium as well such as this one now i'm not going to be able to identify every single one of these and shortly guys i will bring you guys on a safari but i just wanted to show you guys all the tanks they had in this aquarium just because this is an experience not a lot of people get to experience you know not everybody could get to epcot i just happened to be invited by some family and so i decided to go and i decided to bring you guys along with me and a lot of really really interesting cool fish one of my favorite fish a dream fish of mine coming up also seahorses i love seahorses i do plan to have one at some point in the future i don't know when that'll be i'll give you guys an update on the housing coming up shortly but we got some more cool little fish right i have no idea what those things are this is some sort of algae eater or a baleni and then we got this tang right here he did not stop cruising he was literally mobile the entire time all the corals and all the tanks are looking great a little uh urchin right here i forget the name of it actually you know we got some big big eels as well a lot of these display tanks were really really cool and i enjoyed looking at all of them there were so many eels packed into that tank i don't actually know how many there were i kept taking clips because as i was looking at it like the longer i looked at the tank the more eels i had noticed in the tank itself and i don't even i think those were actually just large snowflake eels and then some of them were also mores i'm not entirely sure what the makeup was and they had this one single dolphin in here. It looked so lonely in this tank. Now, I believe this tank is probably way too small for a dolphin, although, like, I don't realistically know. It just looks so lonely and bored in this aquarium. Like, I feel so bad for this dolphin. Look at him aimlessly swim away. But they also had some really, really large tanks with some massive schooling fish that you would find in the native waters around the Bahamas and the Caribbean. I don't know all the species. I'm not much of a saltwater guy when it comes to that, but they had some big sharks in here. This was a little baby hammerhead. Now, I don't know how this hammerhead isn't annihilating everything. From what I know of sharks, hammerhead sharks are some of the most aggressive of the you know family of sharks so i don't know how he's not destroying everything they had some big jack for vols i believe those are i could be completely wrong i think these are blue runners and a huge thing right now there's a lot of really cool stuff in the aquarium as you guys know they had a sawfish which really surprised me and then they had these guys over here that i had no oh ew human but they had something right like i don't know what species that is but the big big ray at the bottom right there all the aquariums look so good really really nice to see and i was hoping you know i'd be able to find something like this when we we're out snorkeling although i was able to find some really cool fish while snorkeling i was not coming across sharks thankfully here's a close-up of that hammerhead and then over here we got this guy looked nasty this shark right there looked mean and they also had a big green sea turtle in this aquarium right here now moving on to the next one we got a, another nasty looking shark like if i saw that i would instantly clear my bowels and this weird fish i it looks like one of those uh 
freshwater catfish what are they the chameleon catfish it's what they look like just on a huge scale he came up to say hi to the camera wave it please like and subscribe right there and then again i had to go back to the manatees because the manatees are so chunky i mean they're so fun to watch i really i really 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 love manatees i mean who doesn't but they were just destroying all this food right here i obviously that is actually just lettuce they were just crushing it this poor guy's tail is so sad to see but overall you know they seem to be enjoying themselves having a good time you know doing their thing and I got some really, really nice footage of them from up top. The clarity was incredible in their aquarium, although their tank low-key smelled. And they had my favorite fish all time. These are a dream keep of mine. Like, one day, I will have some cuttlefish in an aquarium for you guys and for myself as well. I'll be able to share that with you. But I was so caught off guard. I almost left the aquarium before walking into the little invertebrate room. And I'm so glad I didn't because they were so cool to watch as they, you know, navigate their tanks and they constantly have this little color thing going on. I'm not really too sure why. Super cool nonetheless. And we jumped on over to Animal Kingdom. Now, this is the next day. We went to one of these parks right here. I chose Animal Kingdom because we went Epcot the day prior. And obviously, as you guys know, I got to be by the animals. I got to find some stuff. They had some tilapias in the canal in this enclosure. But these are some kind of deer, I believe. I'm not really too sure of the species. And we continue on to rhino iguanas. Those I'm very familiar with. These right here, Blake actually has. So I have experience being around these. They're African cranes. Super, super mean bird. But we continue on on the safari. And we find these. I don't actually remember what any of these things are called. If you guys know them, comment them down below. Or, I mean, I could even try to pull up like a diagram and get an ID for you guys in a minute. But over here, I think, was a black rhino over in that enclosure. This water is musty. This was some kind of black and white stork. And we continue on. There's another glimpse of the rhino. I wish I had brought my big camera for this because it would have been so much better for getting shots of all the animals that we saw on the safari. As, as you guys know, Disney, they just have a bajillion dollars. They have more money than anybody could even fathom. And so they had a lot of creatures here most of which are like the super super big game in africa and i believe this was a hippo enclosure if i'm not mistaken i don't know what i'm pointing at it looks like a bunch of birds <laughs> again i'm not really too familiar with all the speed oh it was a hippo enclosure look there's the hippo right there so there's the hippo over here one of my favorites we got big old crocodiles now i believe these were nile crocodiles right here super super cool animal i really honestly like crocodiles and alligators are some of the coolest things on the planet to me super super sick and we continue on to the prairie where we got the zebras right here i think zebras are like one hundred eighty thousand dollars. so if you guys want a zebra all you need is like one hundred eighty thousand dollars in the permits and you can get a zebra it's that simple but what are we looking at right here we got some more big birds oh the wild dogs were so cool I did not think they were that big. And all the African safari clips, they look small. But these were actually big dogs. Like, they would be comparable to, like, any of the big dog breeds. Like, really caught me off guard. But we got more zebras right here. Beautiful, beautiful animals. You guys see them. I mean, zebra, who doesn't love a zebra? We got a little babies right here. They're so cute. Look at the little babies. And then we continue on down here. We got some wildebeest, I believe those were, with the giraffes. Really interesting. They're just so hairy. Honestly, wildebeest are kind of gross, but we got the giraffes right here. They're very majestic. I don't know how much a giraffe goes for, but, you know, maybe one of you guys could get one and let me check it out in person. <laughs> but we got some big game right here. I think they were saying these were the biggest species of antelope in the world. I'm not sure for certain what they actually are. I don't remember the name, but over here we got some big old elephants. Love me some elephants right here. Very pretty. I was almost going to say little animal, but those are far from little, my friend. The elephants are massive. I mean, they weren't actually as impressive as you think in person. Maybe I was just too far, but they got a big pool of flamingos right here. I'd imagine they probably clipped the wings, right? Like, how else would all these flamingos stay here? I can't imagine they'd all stay right here. But the water, the enclosure they had was really cool. And back there, I think might have been another... I don't remember. Oh, it was a cheetah. 
Yeah, right there is a cheetah. They said they had one. That was one of three females they had. Over there, the rhino started moving around again, so I tried to get a quick clip of him for you guys. Yep. <laughs> That's the big fat butt right there. That's a rhino right there. And over here was the lion enclosure. The lion enclosure, super, super sick. Um, they only had one. I wish they had like a big pride of lions. That would have been really, really cool to see. But they had just the one lion sleeping right there. He was literally just taking a nap. Big old animal. I don't even know what that is. Down there, we got a little rock python. You might find these in the Everglades, low key. And then we got a big fat toad right there, that bullfrog. And then these turtles were just going ham. Kind of uncomfortable, honestly. Kenyan Sambo, I believe, another big old bullfrog right there and they had a ton of african cichlids like i wish i would have just been able to drop in a few fish traps in this because guys they had thousands of african cichlids now i believe these are all mabuna um nothing like too exotic like no ob's or anything but i had really contemplated honestly bringing some exotic fish to disney to drop in the waters to spice it spice up their fish tanks for a little bit now this is probably a biotope of you know an african uh lake like lake malawi or wherever the mabunas inhabit i don't actually know but i'd imagine that's what they're going for here but all over epcot and disney in general they have so many large bodies of water that they could be doing so much more with but they just choose to keep basic but all these African cichlids were really nice to see. I mean, these things were absolutely gorgeous. All very big, very healthy looking fish. And I was really hoping to get a clip of the hippos feeding. Right now, all we're able to see are the African cichlids. But they put out a bunch of food for the hippos. And not a single hippo ate. We got some robs right here. We got some gorillas just chilling. <laughs> baby, tiny little baby gorilla. But all the gorillas were napping. Even the big dude, the big man, was hitting some kind of pose. I don't know what that was. Komodo dragon was small. But, like not really intimidating at all and we got one of my favorite animals like one day i'll have a fruit bat i love 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 fruit bats i don't know what it is but i want one and of course you can't go to animal kingdom without looking at the tigers guys so we got some tigers right here they were pretty active all things considered it was a hot sunny day but we were still able to get some good angles on all the tigers they had and they had this massive croc in the dinosaur enclosure but that was the end of that day Right here, we got the fireworks. Every day, fireworks are at uh, Epcot. Very nice to see. They had a pretty good display. Epcot's got to be one of my favorite parks, but that concludes this day. So we're going to end this day, and that brings us to the day where we hop on the cruise. So, But cruise ships are literally massive. They're basically little cities. They're just huge. Each one of those little boats can carry 370 people. The inside of this boat was pretty insane. I think this was the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas, and if I'm not mistaken, and it's one of the biggest somehow for some reason there's a foot massage presentation during my workout and i kicked a lot of people because it kept getting in my way and so now that you saw all of that guys we are now on the ship it is the last island we're going to be on today i've been taking a lot of little clips just because i don't want to be that dude with the camera i think i'll bring you guys on a tour of the ship as well and i think i'll walk around with my actual camera although i hate being that guy we've got the great ocean blues over there i think my like honestly florida is somewhere in that distance right now we're on the way back forearm gains possibly but let's go be weird let's go this way i'm basically just going to bring you guys to the parts of the boat that i think are the coolest the rest of it's pretty redundant there's some pretty cool stuff on this ship so as you guys can see there are 16 floors on this bad boy honestly i have a thing with heights so i'm kind of scared to look down there myself but like to see this on the inside of the ship's pretty crazy this is triggering me pretty hard have a fear of heights <laughs> but pretty cool but before we go to one of the higher floors um and i show you guys what it looks like off the side of the ship i'll give you guys one last look at this area i really really enjoy it i think it's called central park or something and we could go a little lower and you could see there there's also a rock climbing wall but overall the ship's very nice like it's very cool it doesn't look real like it's it's pretty cool and we're gonna have to switch back over to the voiceover because on the deck it's super super windy at sea the wind is pretty horrible it's literally insane but the boat is so nice nice i tried getting a lot of clips of like my favorite parts of the boats just to show you guys because 
I mean, it's really uncomfortable for me personally to be walking around with a camera because literally everybody watches you. And I make jokes about gang stalkers, but I generally, like, I'm just not social like that. Like, I don't want to be the center of attention in, like, any scenario. So I try to be really low-key with the camera and get some clips of the coolest parts of the ship for you guys, like this main area. But the water was super, super choppy. They had these rock climbing walls, which were really cool. And I figured a view of the back of the boat would be fun. Now, I understand the clips might not be the best, but I'm trying to be respectful of people's space. Um, trip was free for me, so, you know, I don't want to be overbearing. <laughs> but, you know, I, I tried doing my best to get some clips for you guys. Not everything was super accessible for me, and I also will have some updates on housing at the end of this video as well, because by the time I get back, we're gonna be in another Airbnb. I'll give you guys an update on the search for a house. And yeah, overall, it's been a pretty good trip. I've been eating like an absolute freak. And that brings us to our first stop of the trip. We only went to two islands. We went to Nassau, which the water clarity was insane. That's like 30 feet right there. But I was not allowed to bring a camera because at the dolphin excursion that we went on, they did not want any photography. I did, however, catch a little conch right here. I don't know if that's even legal. They had a raccoon enclosure for some reason. Like, who keeps raccoons? That's weird. But the dolphins were super fun. Dolphins are always fun. And the water clarity was incredible. I really, really regret not bringing my GoPro here because I did see some barracuda, which were cool. But again, I didn't get it on video, and the water was just insane. So this is me at the next island. This is Coco Cay. Now, this is where I was able to snorkel, and I'm probably going to let the snorkel roll out without any voiceover because um, I just think it would be interesting. I lied. We're getting down in there. Now, the water clarity of Coco Cay was really, really poor. The water was so violent. I mean, the waves were just crashing like crazy. If I went out past the rocks... There's a good chance I'm just getting slammed into the rocks, so I had to stay on the inside of this. I did break the rule. We did go around the other side, and I did get yelled at. You'll see shortly, but there's a lot of cool little fish hanging out in these rocks. I don't know what any of these species are. There's a lot of little bay fishermen around. I was hoping to come across some eels or octopus or something in that nature, but I wasn't actually able to find any, so... We're just gonna keep cruising around these rocks and see what we can find. Sergeant Major's down there. A lot of these native fish you find in the Bahamas and the Caribbean, you also find in South Florida as well. I mean, it goes without saying, you know, Nassau is only like 60 to 100 miles from the from Florida, the coast of Florida. So a lot of the fish you're gonna find down here in the salt water, you're gonna find up here, or down there rather, in the salt water as well now. There were so many of these little bait fish. It was really fun to just swim amongst them. They kind of reminded me of Rummy Nose Tetras. But... Here's where we're going to get a little bit rambunctious. Now, I'm going to let this just play out and let you guys just enjoy the sound of the ocean and all that good stuff.
And that brings us to the present day. Now the trip is done. I've probably gained like 15 pounds. I ate like a freak every single night. My uncle kept just sliding me food. I'd ordered one entree and he'd order me two or three more because it's like a buffet when you're on a cruise. Like all the food is free. It's kind of just included in the price of everything. But this is the Airbnb we're in right now. This is what it looks like. It's a two bedroom, one bath. I did actually view a lot of houses before going on that trip. Here's the second bedroom. But what ended up happening was, is I made an offer because I didn't want to pay him the full price. Because, you know, it wasn't like a nice house, but it had everything I wanted and needed. Like four bedrooms, two baths, it had a backyard with space for ponds. And then also it had water right on the backyard. So I would have been able to easily set up a pond. It would have been a no brainer, like so simple. And then, Literally the next day they're like, oh yeah, we're under contract. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And so tomorrow, the day you're seeing this video, I'm actually going to be looking at a couple more houses. If I find anything remotely close to what I'm looking for, then odds are 
I'm probably going to just offer them whatever they're asking and hopefully that gets the job done. But that is it for today's video, a little travel vlog. I don't know how it went. Um, I don't really record as much as I should when I'm on trips or anything just because like, I kind of live in the moment. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. If you did enjoy, we're going to hop right back into it. Just miss no days. And get after it. Get it done. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.